Hello all, welcome to my video Logarithms. I am Professor Merlin Matthews from Vidyalankar Polytechnic. Let us start with an introduction. If 2 raised to 4 is equal to 16, now 2 raised to 4 equal to 16 is an exponential form where 2 is the base and 4 is the index. This exponential form can be converted into a logarithmic form as log of 16 to the base 2 is equal to 4. Here the index in the exponential form goes to the answer and the base in the exponential form goes to the base in the log form. Hence it is read as log 16 to the base 2 is equal to 4. If you have 2 raised to 5 is equal to 32, again you can write the same in logarithmic form as log 32 to the base 2 is equal to 5. Then we come up with the definition as if b raised to x equal to a then log a to the base b is equal to x. This means every number in an exponential form can be written as a logarithmic form and vice versa. Let us solve some simple problems based on these particular definitions. Evaluate log of 343 to the base 7. Let us start with assuming the same as equal to x. Hence by definition we have 7 raised to x is equal to 343. Now we all know that 7 cube is 343. Hence your answer of x has to be equal to 3. This means 3 is the solution to this question. Let us solve one more problem. Evaluate log 1 to the base 4. Let us start by assuming the same as equal to y. Again the definition goes and hence we get 4 raised to y is equal to 1. Thus we have any non-zero number raised to 0 as equal to 1. Hence it has to be equal to 0. Now let us proceed with some rules of logarithm. The very first one log xy to the base b is equal to log x base b plus log y base b. This is called as logarithmic addition identity. Now we have to remember here that the base should always be same in all logarithms. Now if you have for multiplication we can just guess the same for division. Log of x upon y to the base b is equal to log x base b minus log y base b. This is called as logarithmic subtraction identity. Again the condition has to be same. The base has to be same. Now we have a power logarithm that is log a raised to n base b. It is always equal to n log a base b. Also we have log b base b always equal to 1. This means if the number and the base are both same, the value is always equal to 1. Let us apply these rules into some problems. Before that we have to note that never log x multiplied by log y is not equal to log x plus y. Also log x divided by log y is not equal to log x minus y. These are the note, these are the rules which has to be noted while solving the problems. Let us start with first one. Simplify log 25 base 10 plus log 40 base 10. As we, all, as we can see that between two logarithms we have an addition. Hence it can be converted into multiplication by writing the next line as log 25 multiplied by 40 base 10 giving you as log 1000 base 10. Now 1000 can be written as a power of 10. Hence the next line goes as 10 cube. Since it is 10 raised to the power 3, we have to use the power formula where n gets shifted and hence here we get the answer as 3 log 10 base 10. Now since the number and the base in the logarithm are same, we have to use the last formula log b base b is equal to 1. Hence we have the answer of final answer as 3 ones are 3. So 3 is the solution to this answer. Let us apply some of the same rules 
to the next problem. Evaluate log 24 base 2 if you are given the value of log 6 to the base 2. Now the trick lies in writing 24 as some multiple of 6. So it can be written exactly as 4 multiplied by 6. As you see the multiplication we have to use the logarithmic addition identity. Hence it goes as log 4 base 2 plus log 6 base 2. Also the trick in writing log 4 base 2 is as writing as log 2 square to the base 2 plus 4.5849 already given in the question. Again we have a power formula that is 2 shifted to the start and hence we get 2 log 2 base 2 plus 4.5849. Here we have 2 into 1 because the number and the base are same plus 4.5849 hence giving the final value as 6.5849 hence this is the value of this particular logarithm. Thank you.